My name is TJ Henretta. I'm a puppet artist, and my studio is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Being an artist means, for me, just exploring my creativity, just opening up to ideas and figuring out how I can bring things to life. I've done all kinds of puppets. I really can't say that there is a favorite. We've got a bunch of sock puppets, mostly monsters. We really like monsters here. We've done a lot of different masks, marionettes, giant puppets, and we have one puppet that is a what we call a clone puppet, where the puppeteer stands in the middle and then there's a puppet in front and a puppet in back. Every one I do, there's something really cool about them. There's so many good things about puppets. I grew up in Chilhowee, Missouri, a farming community about an hour southeast of Kansas City, Missouri. My mother was an art teacher, so it was never even a question of whether or not we would be creative. We were all encouraged to be creative. I did a lot of puppets when I was a kid, but never really did anything professionally as an artist. In 2014, my family moved to Hong Kong and my daughter got very involved in theater there. And so I did some volunteer work and started doing some puppetry there. And then we moved to Chattanooga in 2019 and I started Playful Evolving Monsters in 2020. When I started doing puppetry, I discovered that you get to involve all the arts in puppetry. So you've got all the visual arts, you've got the performing arts, you get to do music, you can sew, paint, beads, all kinds of things with puppets. Making puppets is a job, but it's a fun one. It's a playful one. <laughs> Lots of times we have an idea of a kind of theme that we want to do. When it comes to puppets, there are so many things that inspire me. Sometimes I just see something and I think, ooh, that would make a cool puppet. And so, you know, I start planning about what that might look like. We make our puppets out of a lot of different materials, depending on what kind of puppet we're doing. We use fabric and PVC and paper mache, organza, wicker reed, quilt batting, different things like that. For the giants, we start with a backpack to build it because you've got to consider the puppeteer, how the puppeteer is going to feel, how heavy the puppet's going to be, how it's going to move, different things like that. So you start with the backpack, you build the frame. For us, it's PVC usually with some wicker to just kind of round things out a little bit more. Then we usually work with that a little bit before we cover it because we want to make sure that the puppeteer can work well, that it's doing all the things that we want it to do. And then once we're comfortable with how it is, we put the lights in it, if it's a lighted puppet, and then we cover it. One of the most fun things about puppets is that you get to try all kinds of different things. Everything is trial and error. So you're always learning new things. You're always exploring new ways to do things. I love the idea that my art is out there and that it is inspiring other people to do their own thing. puppets that are in the Creative Discovery Museum are based on a marionette. They actually have cables rather than strings. You pull the lever to make it fly or make the eyes open and shut or make the feet move. The advice I would give to anyone wanting to do art is start now, right now.